Okay, so let me talk a little bit about why we are talking about transcriptomic data in the context of drug discovery, drug repurposing, and personalized medicine. So as you know, bioinformatics plays a critical role in modern drug discovery repurposing, biomarker screening, and design of personalized treatment regimens. And so many industries and research labs are actually seeking out experts that are knowledgeable in omics data processing, analysis, and integration. And there are many different challenges as well as opportunities in being able to integrate, analyze, and turn this data into a model that could be used to design further experiments. Now, a lot of this is based on omics data. And the term omics actually means a lot of different types of data. And so this program is going to be focused on transcriptomic data, but the program that we are a part of today is covering uh, several different elements of data that I think are important to understand. So one example is phenomics, and this means phenotypic data that can include cell morphology, uh, the way that cells shape, right? Different cells have very different sh shapes and they are dysregulated in different ways. Uh, we can also talk about genomic data, right? So the sequences of nucleotides and amino acids typically referred to as genomic data. Epigenomic data, which is a field that has been growing very fast since about 2007, 2008, where we see an increase in the appreciation of how translation of sequences to mRNA and proteins is an important component of non-hereditary uh, regulation of uh, genomic sequencing uh, data. And finally, what we will be focusing on in this program is the transcriptomic data. And so this program on transcriptomic data analysis is an important part because it provides a real in-depth view of how we can use gene expression and isoform expression patterns for discovery of biomarkers, for understanding of drug targets, and for being able to perform uh, analysis of drug function based on expression of mRNA in different forms. So, in this program, which is called RNA Sequencing for Drug Discovery and Repurposing, we will look for how people use transcriptomic data to link targets to diseases, validate these targets, and explore their variation in the natural systems biology. And so uh, I think that this really uh, brings into the spotlight this new era of drug discovery where transcriptomics could be used for discovery of new compounds and complex molecules like proteins that can control disease through the regulation of gene expression that essentially mimic the mechanism by which our bodies exert regulatory control over a range of normal and disease functions. And so to speak a little bit about why next generation sequencing and what this term means and how we can use specifically this kind of data, let me briefly talk about the history behind next generation sequencing and other forms of measurement for mRNA. And this will help us see why we can actually use uh, not just any type of uh, mRNA measurement tool, but specifically next generation sequencing. So as a method of measuring RNA translation, transcriptomic studies can help detect mRNA expression inside the cell as an accurate alternative to membrane protein expression detection, which allows for molecular precision in diagnostics and even development of treatment based on molecular pathways. So what you can see here is the expression of the HER2 surface protein which could be a measurement, a detection of that protein essentially tells us something about the property of the cell and about the, in the processes inside the cell or subcellular molecular processes that are so important for understanding of that tissue condition and potential uh, response to drug treatment. So 
when we think about our ability to detect such protein surfaces, there are actually several different techniques to do that. Uh, and uh, before we get to RNA sequencing, we can talk about one of these technologies, which is microarray technologies. So the microarray technologies allow us to hybridize sequences of mRNA, so actual transcripts in these flow cells that then we can extract RNA from cells or tissues and then see which ones bind together to these uh, small sequences to measure abundance of specific uh, molecules that we are interested in. Now, as opposed to microarray, next generation sequencing actually has revolutionized the way that we can look at transcriptomes because they provide us with so many uh, uh, novel insights about what's actually going on. One, we don't have to perform a preparation technique that creates the assay. We just measure all the mRNA that is present inside the cell, and then we can analyze what kind of alternative splicing events are happening, so what types of isoforms are being generated, what types of genes are being expressed, and then how can we combine or look separately at these two different types of data to make informed decisions about the types of samples that we are looking at. So what we'll talk about in this program is our ability to leverage this kind of big data and see the significance of mRNA expression in the context of data integration, which is really the frontier that drug discovery, drug repurposing, and personalized treatment deals with. So what's important here is that you will find many interesting and important biomedical projects that can leverage RNA-seq data for diagnostics and cancer biology understanding, for disease classification and patient stratification, which are so important for clinical trials and understanding of real patient populations that need to be treated, as well as single cell and tissue composition. So we will be able to look at how single cell and different types of immune cells, different types of uh, tissues actually represent a, a heterogeneous composition of cells with different properties that need to be deconvoluted for us to be able to apply meaningful drug discovery and screening, as well as biomarker and precision medicine targeting of novel treatments.